The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. It's pronounced ash hole. You dumb asshole. Excuse me? It's ash hole. You, sir, are an asshole. <laughs> it's ash hole, you idiot. I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. For the last time, it's ash holes. Oh, you were right. I'm just your kind of asshole. It's time, once again, for my kind of ash holes on Unfiltered Cigar Radio. And welcome back to the Assholes, broadcasting live from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio. I'm Aaron. I'm joined once again by Jess, Mike, Hi. and Ed. Figure why why go with the last names every week? Everybody kind of knows. Yeah, by now. You know, let's let's cut to the chase. Get but, to the cigars. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Today we're smoking a back to back Nicaragua. Um, it's made by Camacho, five by fifty. Hey, Damari, can you, you want to mute, mute your phone your first? Phone? <laughs> you don't need to watch yourself on the show. I just wanted to get on. the comment. Yeah, that's that was what a Dan move. Was. He used to do that all the time. <laughs> I wanted to get the comments so we can interact with some of the guests, and I apologize for that feedback. So that while he's no, we his appreciate phone. having it there. Exactly. But, <laughs> well, um, yeah. you're verified that it's working. It is working. <laughs> we are you. live streaming right now on on Ashles.net. Um, back to back Nicaragua Camacho factory delicious cigar it's um, Nicaraguan Puro wrapper binder filler but it definitely has that Camacho um, feel to it it's got a little bit of sweetness kind of like um, like the old Camachos used to have mm. even though it's all Nicaraguan um, retro hail is not stinging my nose on first light it's really great uh, three sizes available in the Nicaraguan and then there's also the natural uh, natural is actually kind of cool it's a little spicy um, we have the 5x50, 6x60, 7x70. Keeping it even. Yeah, right? Mm. No, all under $9. For the 7x70 is a massive cigar. It's like just... It's so kind of an interesting three sizes to choose. I mean, 5x50 is sure. natural. But you know but what? The 60 works in these blends, and that's Jonathan's favorite. And he told mm. me, he's like, you got to try the 60. I know you're not a you know a big ring gauge guy, but try mm. it. And I have to agree with him. And this, and this cigar, both ones, natural and the Nicaraguan. 60 ring gauge is the jam. Hmm. Well, we're going to um, do the 50. Yeah. This is the, yeah. the packaging because we had, yeah. or they had, I should say, two urban artists. With, uh, this is URNY, which is Mike Baca, Tuise, and uh, Fernando Romero Ski. Wicked mm-hmm. nice dudes. If you've never gotten to meet them, mm. you really should. They're, they're pretty awesome they're fun and time. funny. <laughs> so they did the packaging. You can actually check it out. And if you've never seen a uh, Nashua location, they did some artwork for us. Yeah, look how cool it is. That's so... These boxes are a good size. You can use them to store your stuff, so you can enjoy it uh, pretty pretty much forever. Put all your stuff in it. Put hairs, do Yeah, they even it. have the nice yeah, little nice foot band that carries yeah. through to the cigar. Sometimes mm-hmm. this, like the packaging is really gen- nice. And, but these and the come cigar. in 50-count boxes, so the yeah. potty doesn't stop after 20. <laughs> you know yeah. what? They, they sell in 50-count boxes, which is more oh. like you mm-hmm. know important. I mean, if they come in 50-count boxes, but these actually sell. The guys that like these cigars... Love these cigars. Yeah, they come in, that's hands. all I get. Right, yeah. exactly. I wonder yeah, if they two had time. the box design first and then made the cigar, or if they had the cigar first. Uh, you know, I, yeah, there are. I there mean, are. Clear, is clearly, like they, <clears throat> it's focused, you know, to these guys who are mm. artists, not cigar mm-hmm. makers. That's, so. I mean, they're, they're the guys that did it, man. I mean, I got a lot of respect for those guys. They were hanging around all the Davidoff parties. They mm. knew they liked the cigars. They knew they wanted to be involved, and they didn't know how to get it done. So they're like, you know what? We're, they're just gonna we're gonna make them kick us out. <laughs> is what they were telling <laughs> yeah. me. And they were. They were just persistent. Every party or every event that Davidoff would throw, they'd get out there, and you know they're they're really talented artists. I yep. mean, the stuff that they do, yeah. In the way, like Mike, I, mean, I was talking to Mike. He took out a two dollar bill out of his wallet and did a drawing on it. And now it's hanging up in Nashville, and people always ask about it. Like, wow. Like just artists that have that type of touch, just yeah, amazing. Yeah, who cares around a two dollar bill? <laughs> and the guy, you know, yeah. I mean, they they're the type of guys you just let them do their thing. Like when Dave told them about the graffiti, he's like, "Do your thing, man," and they did. I mean, just yeah. I have I, to say, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed having them in the store. Yeah, great guys. The dynamic guys. changed, but it's funny because they have a solid New York accent, and yeah. then you got. The Valley Boston accents here. <laughs> yeah, Valley is true. And I, I, I'm telling you, they were. And most people right have no Easter, idea what that means. Like, oh yeah, Valley. <laughs> right around Easter, they came in, and I, I, you know, you say Happy Easter to people, so I go Happy Easter, and, and Mike turns around, looks at me, and goes Happy Easter. <laughs> yeah, he, he, was, he was a fan of the accents. I got a lot of comments on 
on things that I say. He said, you should say cigar. <laughs> he must have asked me to say cigar like a hundred <laughs> times. And they actually spelled it out phonetically in front of Nashua. So H? C-I-G-A-H. <laughs> yeah, people walk yep. in with like that look on their face like, really? I said, God, come on. I'm like, it wasn't us. <laughs> it was some guys who were really entertained by the accent. I, I always thought uh, Dave's license plate should say cigar. cigar. I know. Oh, cigar, cigar, yeah. It's yeah. got the actual but, R, though. Oh, well, thanks for giving out Dave's license plate. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, 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 I think, think it's kind of obvious, though. I don't though. think it's a secret. No, it's not. No, <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, my boss over in Nashua is Chooch. I like that one. But to <laughs> oh, talk about... thanks for giving Chooch his license. Well, Chooch is a better better one. I like That's a little <laughs> subtle, like, hey, you know, like you need to know what a Chooch is in order to get the jug. So. Talking oh. about the cigar again, <laughs> instead of giving out licenses, this cigar is beautiful. It's got a subtle sheen yep. to it. It's sort of a matte finish. It's a beautiful Nicaraguan wrapper. And then yeah, their very bands... Nice. There's a subtle, it's a matte band with a subtle black graffiti on it. And then we were talking about it. It looks like um, a manhole cover with yeah, back-to-back like back York, on it. Yeah. yeah, in silver with white writing. Right. It's beautiful. It's subtle. And then the foot band, I think yeah. Damari's actually got That's it. That's the thing. I mean, when you see the, the box. presented in the, I wish I had brought the box up with some cigars in it. Because when you see them presented together, the foot bands. They're beautiful. On the bottom, you open up the box, it does really look artistic it's and it, it, it was intentionally done and i think it's it happy looking in the box it is it there's is. a little hot here which is my favorite pot of the whole thing <laughs> that's the grift <laughs> can like, you see it's like a, little, a little bleeding heart where am I looking? running down a little there's like a little red hot here and you I'm guys like, really right. are at the heart for people who don't you guys know are in show and tell mode today well i mean it's it's a part use the camera you know how much that camera cost we gotta yeah do usage out of it you can do it with this show, the reason that we're, we're focusing on that is because this is this is really one of the few things where it is more of a show and tell than just mm. a tell. Right. Because these are honest. These guys focus on everything visual and sens- like every sense. So, yeah, sensual. Let's get yeah. racy. Ooh. But for the, for me, half of this was seeing what they did with it because mm. it's, it's different. I dig mm. it. There are a lot of cigars in this category, too. Like everyone tries to be in that budget-friendly, everyday cigar mm-hmm. category. Mm-hmm. Um, Camacho does some of the some of the better cigars out there in that category, and this is no exception. I mean, the first time I lit it up, I if you close your eyes and you bought these for your friends, and if you're really a geek and do what me and my friends do when we go out, take the band off of the cigar and hand it to him, ask him how much you would pay for it, what he thinks of the cigar, and if he if he gives you the right answer or less, I'd be surprised. <laughs> it's like they already know what it is, then. for sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then know that you're trying to trick them. Um, because quality wise, and when you're smoking this, you can definitely tell it's. I mean, the brown line's great. Well yeah. aged tobacco. Picking um, up some uh, earth, and what's really sticking out to me is this kind of a red pepper flake. Mm-hmm. You know, it's got, you've got that tingle on the tongue. Mm. It's all yeah. around the outside of my tongue, so it's really hitting the side. There's definitely Ooh. some spice to it. Was that it. a lip mm. smack, Ed? Yep. Oh, yeah. It's not your traditional some Nicaragua. People, <laughs> some people don't like the lip snack. No, no. Smack I can't not, stand not it. I, gotta say, I mm-hmm. literally cannot stand it. But um, it's Ed. Yeah. Oh, the sound no, of Ed, chewing. Ed, that, that was fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fine. This, no. um, I've wrote, written into the Cigar Authority when I was just a fan and I didn't know the guys. <laughs> so when like, they were still they were doing food every single yeah, week. Yeah, I was like, please, guys, I love listening to the show. Like Cigar Authority is what got me into it. I'm like, but, but I can't not chewing. send it. Every time it happened, 15 seconds, I skipped. Yeah. I couldn't. Eating something chewy. like banana. Right. But, And I would tell Barry, sounds, I'm friends with no. Barry. I would private message him. Like, I'm not trying to complain because I love the show. You but guys do a lot for the industry. You do realize as soon as you send that letter, I'm just they're going to do it. I'm more. not going to oh, yeah. listen at this point because I know because the every guys. time they brought it up, it would be like, no, nah, we're going to uh, do it extra loud. I know. <laughs> it's it, There's a medical condition for it, actually. And I think I have it. Well, they say it's actually a genetic yeah, genetic predisposition to hate yeah. that sound. My uncle used to chew it. It's called with being his human. But, <laughs> you know, everybody else just kind of deals with it. My uncle used to chew with his uh, mouth open and I couldn't eat Thanksgiving dinner next to him. He would always get stuck at the kids' table too and I would just get pee out. <laughs> All right, why don't we do our top five? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it going to be food this week? I don't know. No. Okay, good. We'll find out. <laughs> Aloha! Today's top five is brought to you by Five Five Cigars. Choose from the mild white label, the medium strength red label, or the full bodied and full flavor blue label. Series Five Five has it all. Five Five equals the perfect 10, and that's what you get every time. The only thing better than a Five Five cigar is two of them, so you can share with a friend. And now, here's today's top five list. So, in honor of our artist cigars, we are going to do the top five widely misinterpreted works of art. Because some of okay. these are ones that you see and you're like, oh, I know what that's about. And, and apparently I didn't. <laughs> um, 
So number five is Nighthawks by Edward Hopper. It's the picture where you see the diner. The, the diner, yep. The, yeah. The night, and it's lit up from the inside. And, and there's only kind of, a few people the guy with in the hat there. And kind, James of, Dean. kind of rainy vibe to yeah, it. Yeah, too. yeah. It's very, very yeah. But it's iconic. deserted outside. It's it's a really, it's it's beautiful. I love it. Um, but apparently it, it, it gives you the sense of isolation. Um, there's no visible exit. So when questioned about it, um, apparently he had started cursing and going, oh, I did it again. And it started rumors that he accidentally left off an exit and we all misinterpreted his painting. But there's no confirm or deny. I just thought it was funny that he <laughs> cursed, whacked his hat on his leg and just walked away from it. <laughs> Number four is Rather Racy. So this is the swing. If you remember this one, it's the lady in the beautiful dress swinging and her husband's like pulling her behind, getting everything situated. What you don't know is it's not uh, a Disney movie of cute woman on a swing. Okay. It's actually also called The Happy Accidents of the Swing and it's basically about... Is that how his child was conceived? No. No, there's a lover in the bushes <laughs> looking up her skirt. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a shoe that flew off, and apparently when this was painted, uh, showing ankles or bare feet was talking oh, about okay, sexual yeah. awakenings and stuff. So, um, really racy. Yeah, those Not curvy ankles. Cute. Watch out. <laughs> you know, well, That's why they have tablecloths. Do you know that? Because of the legs of the table. Yes, that's that's real. Look, Look at up. you with the fun uh, facts. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> I, I want to get a fact check on that one. I don't know. <laughs> All right, tell me. I'll, yeah, I'll check it out. We'll check next week. <laughs> Number three is the Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. Mm -hmm. This one is the melting clocks when everybody's yes, seen yes, it. Yes. So it was thought to represent the malleability and the fluidity of fluidity of space and time. So everybody thought he was like genius level, like Einstein level intelligence. But <laughs> apparently he... He just left his watch in the sun. No, he actually <laughs> painted it with the inspiration of his melting camembert cheese in the sun. So oh. the cheese melted and he's like, oh, that'd be cool. So he did that. <laughs> so I love not, how it's like everything's just so simple. It's like, oh, uh, whoa. Not super deep, but I don't leave my cheese in the sun. Yeah. Probably because I don't see much of it if you've ever seen me i'm pretty yeah, much it's already gone right. yeah. but um number two <laughs> number two is horrifying the the picture is actually it's nature forging a baby by roman de la rose and hmm. it was based on a short story so in the painting you see a, a forge and you see a woman holding a little baby with a giant hammer coming down so horror, you see little gray babies oh, in the corner, okay, so it's yeah. sad and dark. I think that's how my, my parents raised me a little bit now. <laughs> <laughs> explains a few things. But apparently, it's not the super dark picture everybody thinks of. The woman is supposed to represent Mother Nature creating children yeah. with a hammer and an anvil. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I, I think that... I'm looking at it in horror. I'm like, why? It was like yeah, six when I Who would hit a baby it. with a hammer? I don't even like babies, and I'm like, oh, that's, <laughs> that's a little, little excessive. But on number one... Most misinterpreted work of art, or works of art, I should say, would be Black Iris, or pretty much any, Georgia O'Keeffe. Oh, yes. <laughs> the I don't think it's hours. misunderstood, though. Yeah. It, <laughs> don't you know? She, she denied it. So she specialized yeah. in large paintings of flowers. Yeah, close-ups of flowers. And it, it looks it looks a lot like Lady Potts. It is so Lady that's, Potts. That's no, joke and she, she's, she said, she's like, this is... In, uh, Breaking yeah. Bad about that. This <laughs> is completely not what she meant. She was so adamant that that's not what it was about. She started painting with much more detail, and it just kind of made it worse. Is this no, what flowers look it. like? I don't believe it. It's just like the person didn't intend for the cover of The Little Mermaid. Okay, Disney. you oh. saw that. Not <laughs> going and there's so many things in Disney sure. that are like that. But I'm in right. love with you. Everything she nah, painted, well. it looks. It is. Uh, it, yeah, mm -hmm. she's she's trying to cover. Well, up I don't think it's an accident it. that people are always kind of assuming yeah. that's what she meant. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if people's minds are just dirty or if it was hard. Well, but probably both. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I think know. she misunderstood. I don't think I don't think that we misunderstood. She, I think she subconsciously. Mm -hmm. If she didn't consciously do it, she subconsciously <laughs> going off Freud on her because it is what it is. I mean, you look at her painting. The Freudian slip with the psychiatrist with a. Right. Brush stroke. <laughs> All right. That's uh, Celeste. Nice. All right. Excellent. pretty good about that. Okay. Speaking of which, um, Ed, can I get last time I'll, uh, oh I'll throw it over the camera? I just God. have he, this. He just wants more of himself on <laughs> Dacking. <laughs> dimes. Oh, no. Also known as really? a tight ash. You yeah. got that buzzer? No, that's a no. dime stack right there. Picture <laughs> denied. Come on. <laughs> no? All right. No. Go. No. We're, we're not humoring I don't, you with your dimes. <laughs> no. I think people that don't understand would understand when you see a stack of dimes what that looks like that's a nice tight ash look at it <laughs> it is you a know nice like ash. nickels yes, or something it doesn't matter the dom denomination of the currency yeah. it's just how it <laughs> looks it's, always stacking it's a welding term real quick on know. this cigar <laughs> i'm not getting any sweetness but it's still not too aggressive i get that pepper bite i get 
almost like a woody coffee note. No sweetness for me. I actually get the sweetness only on the retro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? It's not dry for me. It's at more all. like a like a vanilla sweetness on the retro, but oh, it's still got the spice and everything else that kind of counterbalances. Eggnogish. <laughs> you know what? That's what I was thinking. Like when, nutmeg or yes, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. In a little bit, a little bit creamy, which I, is surprising for like a Maduro. You're right about the vanilla. Yeah, mm. that's why I'm. Yeah. Ooh, it's nice. Ooh. It's pleasant too. <laughs> Sorry, it's not overbearing. Good. You know what? It's, it has a little spice, like you said, red pepper. But you know, Nicaragua, it, as this one's called, is no Nicaragua. Yeah. In the most part, it's black pepper that you you think of. Mm-hmm. Um, and it tingles your nose when you do a retro hail. This I'm not getting that tingle, mm-hmm. which is fine. Um, you know, it's more of a red pepper, which is is nice and smooth through the nose. That's you know, fun. if you're blowing it out, and it's great. Yeah. You can definitely pick up um, some nuances on the smoke. It's not just a one dimensional yeah, thing going on. And it's sub like seven dollars, yeah. six dollars and fifty nine cents, six sixty nine. And in their box of 50 is two ninety two ninety nine, dollars right, which 50. is available on the number two guys Wait, cigars. I didn't even say that. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, two. it's really cool. When you go on the website, it's they like too have easy. It's all of them <laughs> listed. Guys cigars. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Gee whiz. Yeah, too easy. I like that. But. On the website, you can actually look at everything, so you can see the sizes in comparison to each other. I will tell you, the seven by seventy is massive, but it still smokes I mean, well. Seven by seventy, gosh, man! I'm telling you, next the time we're going to be doing the sixty is worth smoking. Though. Yep. If, have you smoked it? No, I haven't smoked the sixty. It's now. Worth it. I, Shy away from 60s generally. Yeah, me too. I'll give it a shot. I, won't, I, I probably won't give it a 70 a shot because that's the thing. If, I it, just, yeah. if a cigar company comes out with the 60 ring gauge, I'm not smoking it unless somebody recommends it. That's to me. yeah. That's pretty much where it's you at. know what I mean. Yeah. Um, certain sizes. Um, there's one by Roma Craft that I like in a 60 ring gauge, and somebody had to recommend it to me, even though I'm a fan of that brand. You know, they had to say, "Hey, try that." Yeah, and I was like, "Wow." Um, you know. uh, I have one point to make before the break, and this Ooh. is a critical one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tablecloths were not invented by previous <laughs> They date all the way back to the Middle Ages. Okay. Yeah. To okay. keep is that was staining your table. Oh, you <laughs> Imagine. Do we have sexy feet I, on I the table? I did use Snopes. I, I have, yeah, I think... Uh, Somebody told me it. I just yeah. I know that's it. that's so, the worst. Is when somebody tells who gives you bad out information. Accurate, yeah, but who no. cares? That's the problem with today. Like you go out, you got to fact check everything. everything. But that's the thing. You <laughs> used to be able to BS somebody and have a good time and joke around and somebody like you could just totally you know have a good time with it. Now just somebody pulls out the phone and Google's it. There's a well, tape to the ceiling. Some, but there's plenty. Wouldn't it me, be a better still, story? There are plenty of global people out yeah, there. Yeah, but wouldn't it be a better story if that was what table class were invented? There's also it kind of seems just doesn't make enough sense. You know, ah, those those. Horny Victorians. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, they, they saw that's the table true, legs, but. you know. <laughs> All right, break. Yeah, yeah. Break. Let's get away from yeah, this furniture that. fetish. I get some water. All right, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we'll continue smoking the back-to-back Nicaragua. Yeah. What's up, Cigar World? This is Mike, a.k.a. Tuise. This is Fernando, a.k.a. Ski. And we are the creators of the newly launched brand from Davidoff of Geneva, Back-to-Back Cigars. What does back-to-back mean? It's the art of repetition. It stems from the graffiti era, a term that translates to continually painting your name back-to-back. The back-to-back is offered in two distinct blends. The medium body Connecticut and the medium to full body Nicaraguan blend. Each blend offers three badass formats. A 5x50 Robusto, a 6x60 Gordo, and a larger than life 7x70. All ranging in price from 6 to 9 bucks. We are bringing you some true value. Let us break down the blends for you guys. The back-to-back Connecticut features a strikingly beautiful Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper leaf, a San Andreas Mexican binder that encases the delicious Dominican long-leaf tobaccos. Now the back-to-back Nicaragua steps it up in terms of flavor and intensity as a true Nicaraguan puro. Wrapper, binder, filler, all Nicaraguan tobacco. It's a must-try cigar for all Nicaraguan tobacco lovers. Now the Cigar Authority rated it 92 points. And I think they know what they're talking about. Try them today. Back to back cigars. Only Great Leaf makes great cigars. Aganorsa Leaf stands out because of the distinctive mouthwatering flavors of the Corojo 99 and the Criollo 98 seeds cultivated by Cuban agronomists on the best lands in Jalapa and Esteli, Nicaragua. When you smoke one of the JFR, JFR Lunatic, Guardian of the Farm or Casa Fernandez cigars, you will experience the unique taste and aroma that makes Aganor Salif different than any other tobacco in the world. Smoke one today and enjoy the signature flavor of Aganor Salif. (laughs) 
Looking for a mild cigar? Don Rafael is just that. Solidly constructed, and it offers up a mellow experience that holds a ton of universal appeal. This is just one of the reasons for Don Rafael's enormous success. Looking to get your friend into smoking cigars? The Don Rafael cigar is absolutely the right choice. The brand originally set out to outdo the competition, but for the price, there is no competition. You can't beat Don Rafael, it outsells them all. Don Rafael can be enjoyed any time of the day, all day, and cigar after cigar. The Don Rafael has a smooth, mellow aroma that will not linger. Draped in a seamless golden brown Connecticut wrapper, Dominican long fillers, and a Dominican binder complete the blend. Expect earthy notes with some hints of cedar throughout. And as far as quality everyday blends go, for a mild cigar smoker, it doesn't get more satisfying than this. Remember this, Don. Don Rafael. Stepping into the aging room has a new meaning at Aging Room Cigars, as Rafael Nodal has traveled to Spain, where the idea for Aging Room Solera was born. The Solera method of aging has been used for centuries in the making of wine, sherry, brandy, and rum. The method mixes different vintages, allowing them to age together. For Aging Room Solera, Rafael takes several tobacco vintages and puts them in bales, where they age together for another 12 to 18 months. This allows the tobaccos to marry for a longer period of time. At the end of the aging process, Aging Room Solera becomes a balanced and complex cigar with a fantastic price point. Aging Room Solera, it will have you calling for an encore. Bohemian is the original Brazilian big ring gauge cigar with the unfinished foot, curly tailed head and value, value, value. There is a Brazilian reasons to buy and smoke Bohemian and here are just a few. Created in the Cuban tradition, this lush, dark Brazilian Maduro leaf surrounds a five-year-old Sumatra binder with Dominican and Nicaraguan well-aged long filler leaves. So, what should you expect from a Bohemian? A departure from the conventional. A flavorful journey into a sweet, nutty, almost caramel finish. Bohemian, the original, unconventional cigar. Take the journey. Stay tuned for more of the Ash Holes on the United Podcast Network. When was the last time you experienced something for the first time? Curiosity drives discovery. Discover exceptional tobaccos aged to perfection with Balmoral Inejo XO. Born from passionate curiosity, Balmoral invites you to discover the optimal balance of sophisticated complexity and smoothness. Each meticulously crafted, extensively aged Inejo XO cigar blend is the result of a relentlessly global search for the top 5% of select premium tobaccos available, including our exclusive signature Brazilian Mata Norte. Crowned with a sun-grown Brazilian Arapiaca wrapper, Balmoral Inejo XO embraces your palate with complex notes of cedar, cacao, and peppery spices that finish with a smooth, underlying natural sweetness. We invite you to discover and experience Balmoral and Yeho XO today. And we're back live in the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio. We're still smoking the back-to-back -back Nicaraguan. It's going pretty well so far. Um, it had a nice transition, so the, the yeah. sweetness is kind of picking up just on the regular draw now, so instead of just in the retro, um, kind of mellowing out a little bit. Yep. Have uh, you touched yours up yet? No. Nope, Have you? Nope. Burn line's perfect. Perfect. I've been too chatty. I had to touch mine up, but it's yeah. not. Yeah. It's Ash is holding on line. nice and firm. So I think we've said vanilla bourbon is exactly yep. what this yeah. tastes like. Yeah. Yeah. That's yep. pretty accurate. Without being a flavored cigar, this has a lot of nice flavor to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I can see why people Somebody buying, came in the, the other day actually like, asking specifically for that. They're like, you know, I really haven't picked up any flavors on a cigar. I'm looking to discern some flavors and... You know, there are cigars out there that, like, you can point to and, and mm -hmm. pick up as saying, listen, if you if you think about this flavor while you're smoking the cigar yep. um, and treat the, like, the smoke like it's chewable and like it's a food product. Yep. Yeah. Get your brain working that way. Do what I hate. <laughs> do what I absolutely sure. hate. But in the privacy of your home lounge. Yeah. <laughs> but. but, yeah, do that. And, and, and it tricks your brain into kind of picking up those flavors. You, you salivate a little bit and. 
and you can definitely pick up certain things. I can point out a couple of cigars that taste like, you know, I'll say, Something like this really one for you that you, I remember, yeah. right, like that she likes to smoke, and she says it's maple bacon. I forget which oh, one Oh, maple was. bacon. Yeah. Saladino um, is maple Aladino. bacon. Oh, okay. and, and you know what? If you smoke one of those, while you're thinking about maple bacon, I mean, it's maple you, bacon. you get a little bit of the maple bacon, and it's, it's mm-hmm. crazy. And it's not really always the power of suggestion, because I've tried not to think about it. But every time I smoke it, like it's like, it tastes uh, like maple bacon. Yeah, it's like all right. Yeah. But this one is definitely vanilla bourbon vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. You do get the little bit of heating up. Like if you take a shot of bourbon and like you you have that blow out your nose um, um, feeling where the fumes. That's yeah, what I do with my, well, with my bourbon. I just shoot it out of my nose. And <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. No, no, you I take a you. shot and you, you almost feel like it, the burn going yeah. down. It's like the scenic the route when you drink well, it. Yeah, yeah, you want to, after you take a, a, a shot, you want to inhale and exhale through your nose. Yeah. So do that with wine, with everything. So, yeah, and yeah. you retrohale your bourbon? Basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I'm not a drinker. No. No, it's like right after you take the drink, then you inhale and exhale through your nose. Mm-hmm. It works the same way. It's you getting those flavors a little bit more. Bringing a touch of class to the ash holes, huh? Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of good cigars out there, too, that are using either some sort of liquor or barrel aging techniques that, that add sweetness to, to the leaves. And Yeah, it's a growing trend, for sure. It definitely pairs well. Um, uh, I'll say it's a classic pairing. It's a growing trend. In, actually, in wine, too, where they're doing mm-hmm. bourbon barrel aged. Yep. And really? Weird. Yeah. It's, and some are just like bourbon style mm-hmm. barrels, so there's never any bourbon in it. Well, it's, funny it's a weird industry. Pick out flavors in wine, but I can pick them out in cigars. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of actually overlap. I mean, for sure, even the growing. The uh, I mean, that's where uh, Cigar Aficionado came from. Is yep. from Wine Spectator, I believe. Yep. It was but the original magazine. Yes, with the Boone's Farm, you can taste the strawberries, right? Of course. All right, <laughs> I knew you. With could. my snacks, I'm good. <laughs> yep. So snacks, I'm good. I can taste everything. Mm. Wine, alcohol tastes like alcohol. Tastes like alcohol. Nine <laughs> times out of ten. Yeah. The tenth time, it's probably because I was eating something with it, and it tastes like pizza. I mean, <laughs> after a certain point, yeah. when I used to drink, all alcohol tasted the same to me. So I would get rid of the good stuff first. And, you know, take a tip, you know, yeah. Johnny Walker. Blue I mean, to stop some people are the same way with cigars. Like, all I taste is smoke, and it's like, well, you just not yeah. experienced enough or whatever. But but you know what? You, that's fine. You taste the smoke, but then if you compare that smoke to a, a bad cigar, I mean, I don't I'm not, you know what I mean? We're not going to name names. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can't yeah. think of any like off the top of my head that if, I would. If you I pick it up at a gas station, then that's a bad exactly, cigar. Exactly, a, okay. a gas station under humidified cigar. You'll notice the difference from a good cigar you'll pick up mm-hmm. at our store. You that's could roll right up a newspaper and light it. Well, that that's, would be bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah but that's be, not much really of a cigar. Bad. I think the ink might be dangerous. I don't know if you want to what country bad. it's from. Not that, that you should not that you should be inhaling it anyway. I know those but. Nicaraguan <laughs> newspapers that they pack up the cigars with are probably not the best. I, I'm done unpacking the boxes with Pete, and my arms are covered in this red dye ink that's like probably carcinogenic. You know what I mean? It's been like <laughs> wow. Um, these these cigars are great. What well, like if you didn't get this and didn't know what it was, what would you say price wise for this? I'm thinking it's around ten dollars. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking nine. Robust, yeah, eight, yeah, it's nine. quality wise around that. You know, if I didn't have the band on it, and, and especially with the band, it even looks better. You know, the foot band and everything. Mm. I'm telling you, the foot band's a killer. Well, they put all they put thought into what they're doing. I mean, right. these guys, when when you have a background in art and you're you're focused like that, you want everything to be appealing, mm. and this is very appealing in every way. And let's be honest, Davidoff doesn't make many bad cigars, if any. No, no, you know what I mean. They good quality I don't think control I've ever and bad. me Maybe. neither. It, it's it, it might not be for me, but. Definitely not bad, and that's yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Like, if you look at the cigar, it's always burning right for Davidoff's. Mm-hmm. Like, the factory is superb. Like Yeah, they're not going to cheap on. out on the tobacco and no. stuff like that. They've got their, you but know, it, But reach. these cigars are relatively cheap. I mean, yeah. it goes, um, you know, six sixty nine for the one with smoking, mm-hmm. and it's burning slow. Mm-hmm. So this is like an hour robust. Yep, easily an hour. And then yeah. the six sixty, I'm my preferred size, actually, which is surprising in these lines, both natural and the Maduro. Um, that's only seven sixty nine. So another buck, and you get an yeah. extra inch on the cigar, and you get an extra ten ring gauge. Then goes up from there, another inch, another ten ring gauge, another buck. You know what I mean? You're you're still under nine dollars for a cigar, eight sixty nine. Yeah, and with those seven that's by seventies, I mean, you take off that foot band, you flatten it out. You've got a poster for your wall because it's <laughs> but big. You, yeah, but you know what? There's a lot of uh, a cu- I've talked to a couple truckers, um, like long haul, like yep. uh, truckers that um that buy the cigars. They're like, I hate relighting a cigar over and over oh, while that would I'm on be, the road, especially. On the road. And Davinoff doesn't make 
bad cigars, like I said. Mm-hmm. I like you to know, mention, so, though, the only box that's different, though, is the 7x70. That's yeah, a 30 count box. That's a 30 count box. And that's why <laughs> yeah. they come in, they buy them. Any bigger, and you're not able to lift oh, the gosh. thing. You light the thing <laughs> once, and like I said on this Robusto that I'm smoking, and like Jess, I'm talking in between, so it should be having issues. Small. But they light those 70s, and they're lit for two and a half hours, mm. three hours mm. while, they, while they're while they driving. They're Just impressive for, I mean, a seven, you know, 70 ring yeah. gauge. Construction. A lot of times you have burn point. issues, you know, with the yeah. cheaper cigars or whatever. Well, that's why you pay for the quality of a factory like Davidoff. You know what yeah. time it is? <gasps> oh, God, Freddie. So it's time. Did I guess it? Time Once again. Value. To get delighted. To get delighted right. yeah. with Old Fart Freddie. Brought to you by Cuban Delight Cigars. And you know... I had the opportunity to spend some time with Old Fart Freddy last Friday. Mm-hmm. Lucky devil. He's got a lot on his mind. <laughs> this is just one little sliver of what is on Freddy's mind. This is Old Fart Freddy, and if you know me, you know I was delighted with the good old days when life was simpler and cheaper. When I was a boy, my mama would send me down the corner store with a dollar. I'd come back with five potatoes, two loaves of bread, three bottles of milk, a hunk of cheese, a box of tea, and six eggs. Unfortunately, you can't do that nowadays because there's too many damn security cameras. (laughs) I'm cheap, so I love Cuban Delight Cigars, a perfectly good everyday cigar handmade in the Dominican Republic from the pieces left over from the high-end cigars. For a quick buck, I can enjoy a Cuban Delight. Cuban Delight Cigars. We, uh, we as retail um, <laughs> retailers do not advocate theft yeah. in any form. We do not advocate Old Far Freddy's we, we do not. Yeah. They don't we make do pockets not. as big anymore, too. So. No, we don't co-sign <laughs> that at all. We do not. Um, and you know what? Another thing, if we left out two packs of cigarettes, I remember <laughs> that used to be like the thing. Like you send, and you send, send the kid to get it. Send too. a nine-year-old to the store <laughs> to get two packs of like Winston Lights or lucky whatever. Lucky Strikes. My mother was telling lucky me about strikes, yeah. yeah, yeah, Lucky Strikes. <laughs> Unfiltered, all natural. Yeah. Oh, that makes me so You got to roll it up in your sleeve. That was right? a good one. My mama. <laughs> that's my a little, mama. Uh, my mama. My mama says. Freddie's a good dude. <laughs> but that's what he's like. I mean, I, I think that's genuine. Freddie's Freddy's a man. I am in love with him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I like just the, am. I, you know what? I'm going to try some of those Cuban delights. You know what I mean? <laughs> Give them a little bit back from them giving them to us. You should get a banjo too. <laughs> yeah. <I love laughs> yeah, banjo's tough. I, like I have no artistic talent um, like these guys mm. in, in any form. No musical, visual, nothing. Um, I'm closer to autistic than artistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just uh, I'm, I'm awful. So karaoke, <laughs> my voice is the worst. So all around, fail. It's got everywhere. some sweet dance moves, though. But I'll tell you, I do like cigars, and I like <laughs> Here's those videos. <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez. So there where is. can you find us? Two if guys. we get lost, where do you find us? YouTube. Where? Facebook. Uh, oh, yeah, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, so check, Facebook? You can like us on Facebook, and you'll get all our alerts. <gasps> mm-hmm. You can go to Twitter at the Ashles or on Instagram at Ashles Radio. I like hearing it because I and like post the last pictures one. of stacking <laughs> times. <laughs> messes everything up. Stacking times. Post your pictures under the comments. Never do that. Because that's a thing. Never yeah, do that. yeah. And why has, are you guys hating hashtag on that? stacking dimes and nobody will know what you're talking about. Well, you'll understand. You get a bunch it. of yes, because I'm trying to get it to be. A, my, I'm trying to get some make like, it make it happen between our audience and us. I think you should put that with a hashtag Mike Damari buzz. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. But, no, I think it's cool because you can. I mean, I subscribe on the YouTubes, and mm-hmm. I can watch that. My kitty videos. <laughs> kitty. You yeah. can kitty. get into a rabbit hole quickly online. I, yeah, I mean, I I patrol YouTube. Patrol. I have a lot of you know uh, sites that I subscribe to, and mm-hmm. it, so yeah, you, you just start watching, and then it's like three hours go by. I'll go, oh yeah, look at the at cat work right now. kissing <laughs> the ducky. <laughs> Puppy videos and all that. Oh, like sweet. the puppy swimming in the air. You've seen that one? You know, I have a feeling. <laughs> yeah. It's in the baby <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holding it over the, uh, the water. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, it's the yeah, yeah. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of good hits for kitty videos. Kitty videos. Kitty, kitty videos. Yes. Well, why? I mean, this is the second I mean, that, week in a row the original reason. Videos. That's the original reason that the internet was created is to yeah. share pictures Cat of videos. your cats. Right. I'm going to say so. that every episode because I tend to mention mm. it. But I like YouTube. I feel like it's a good resource and you can talk to us on there. Yeah, I'll tell you, I keep on hitting this thing. Like I'm not, I, I, I'm going back to it multiple, multiple times. Not hating up at all. Um, I can still hold it there, and I'm, I'm really smoking it quickly, like yeah. beyond where yeah, I normally cool, smoke right it. Right up by the burn line. Even. Well, yeah. I knocked the ash off to see if it got spicier, because yeah. that's what usually happens. Mm-hmm. And this didn't spice up on no. me. It stayed vanilla bourbon. Like that's all I'm tasting now. Mm. Perfect draw. Nice. So, well, why don't we perfect. do our uh, ratings? Oh, I'm okay. ready. 
Okay, if you're ready, let's go for it. I'm giving it a solid 93. Wow. Right. For okay. 669, this definitely smokes more expensive, and the draw is perfect for me because it's a little okay. airier than I think. Um, so I don't have to poke it. You know what I mean? Right. Do the Freddy, Freddy draw punch. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you know what? yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I apologize. Go ahead. No, I'm, well, I was going to go with a 90. Yeah. Um, I have great construction. Uh, it's got enough transitions for me to stay interested and, you know, enjoyable flavors. You look excited. For sure. Yeah. I'm on my third myself flavor transition right now. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. You look down and it's changing. And I, you brought up a good point, too. Price has to be a factor in a rating mm -hmm. for you because mm -hmm. it's for you. And I don't care what you say. If you're you're spending money on a cigar, it affects how you how you take it. Um I'm going to go 92. Okay. I think all things considered, um, construction-wise. Was everything. that 92 or 90 also? No, 92. Okay. <laughs> Just clarify. <laughs> yeah, above 91. 90, uh, 92. Uh, I'm with Aaron on this one. 90. 90. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we have. Well, says 92, right? You, yeah, you're killing me, My math is off. 91. And da, 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 math why? is failed. <laughs> you're no, it's not. It's multiplying. It's... It's it's not math that's failing. It's believe it or not, I'm fat fingering the the thing. Yeah, I it's believe probably it. Ninety one, ninety one and a half. Four. Why? No, Why every time? Ninety one and a quarter. It's ninety. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna be whatever I choose it to be. <laughs> so it's ninety one point two five. Divided by four. Ninety one point two five. But yeah. I'm giving it. Ed's got it. We're gonna do solid ninety one. <laughs> Ashel's rating ninety one. Yeah, it's good score. See see the way my twisted brain works. We throw out all the 90s, so yeah. we got five yeah. Yeah. and that's your baseline. by four. Right. Yep, that's true. Then throw the 90 right back in there. Listen, mm -hmm. honey, it's been a long that's day. That's why we have it here. There's different ways to do it. I'm pretty good at those usually. People I like post this. Them. I think you're getting a lot for your money, and I really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, and, and that has to, like I said, has to be a factor. Yeah. It does affect. Sometimes you pay more for a cigar and it tastes better to you. And then you take the band off the exact same cigar, get it handed to you, and you're like, oh, I don't really like it as much. Yeah. So I've been trying. You don't think so, but it, well, it, people definitely smoke I, the I, band. Well, I don't think I've ever well, liked a cigar more than you. I paid more for. Yeah. But, I, I, I mean, mean, I've had some great cigars that were more expensive. For sure. I don't know if I – would probably. I'm probably more uh, critical of it if I paid more for really? it. Really? Yeah. I, I think sometimes people have expectations going into a cigar, um, especially if it's over – well, not overhyped, especially if it's hyped. Multiple um, calls. Right. People people come up and uh, think it's going to be something else, and you know, and they want it to be something. Um, you know, I think everything we carry pretty much stands up to uh, stands up to the test. Up to the hype. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, there's a couple of things that – you know, expensive for the sake of being expensive cigars are yeah, kind of yeah. crazy. You don't need it. We have it be infused with some rare cognac <laughs> or some crazy yeah, it's like, for a okay. million dollars. Yeah. Have somebody just, fly it just in just being flowery for no reason. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But for affordable everyday cigars, this is a great, great option. Yeah. 50 count box and you're done. All right. Well, you've been listening to the assholes, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> on the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studios, you can download or share this episode at unitedpodcastnetwork.tv. Check it out. We've got all our past episodes. And you'll even find some other podcasts that are really worth listening to. So mm -hmm. check it out. Later, guys. Bye. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.